Alright guys, got another fun video here on the Galaxy S4 Verizon variant. And now that we have root access on this device with SuperSU, this, this is actually going to be on build, let me show you this really quick, build MK2, but it also works, there's your build number, MK2, it also works on MJ7. Now we're going to show you guys how to install SafeStrap. Hash code has, like I like to say, struck again. And even though this device actually has what's called C Linux enforced, which made SafeStrap fail and not install correctly or run, um, right there it is. Uh, SE Android status enforced, right there. He has found another workaround to get SafeStrap functioning once again for this device. Dude, his hash code is amazing. Amazing. All right, so. This is it right here, there's the application. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Basically, I'm gonna give you a link to it in the video description, but download that link to your phone. If you download to your computer, then transfer your phone, it downloads as a zip, not an APK, and it's very confusing. So just go into your web browser on your, on your phone or into YouTube and download it that way. And then once you download it, it will be in your download folder. Right here it is. All you gotta do is click on the application hit install and it will install. I've already got it installed so we're gonna skip this part and go right into the application. So go in the application once it's installed it's gonna ask for root access go ahead and grant it and right there you can see that is the newest version that works with C Linux enforced 3.70 says not installed right there is status safe system not active go ahead and hit install recovery now, if you're updating um, from an older safe strap, there's di specific directions in the thread on how to uninstall that safe strap and get this safe strap installed. So pay attention to that. I will link you to hash codes thread on this device for safe strap in the video description as always. Um, so from here, you're installed. Status has changed right there on the top. Go ahead and reboot to recovery. And we're gonna go ahead and make our first Nandroid backup. That reboot to recovery is really nice because it, it just gets you right in there. There's not even a splash screen. Normally there would be a splash screen on reboot. There's not one and it will get you right in. You can see I have the custom uh, unlock thing on the first screen. That's normal when you have anything custom to your device on Samsung. So root access is custom. Um, it's not an issue. If you have a warranty problem, you want to do a full Odin restore anyway. Alright, so we're in here. First thing you want to do is go ahead to go to backups. I like to back up everything. Um, let's see what the backup auto generate backup name is. That's good for me. Tells me what I'm running and everything. I like that. So we'll go back. Everything looks good. Swipe across. Create your first Nandroid backup in Safe Strap. And I'm gonna show you a little bit more after this backs up. We'll let this we'll let this run. Alright, while this backup here finishes up, which it's almost done, I want to just point out one thing that's really interesting and that nice that you guys can do. Um, so I'm, this backup right here that's running. You can actually take this backup you just made of your stock ROM slot, stock ROM slot right up there on top, and you guys can restore this to a ROM slot. So I don't know if there's any ROMs out yet for MK2. Um, so if there's not, you can just go ahead and make this backup, put it into a ROM slot, and then run it and edit it and do all your fun stuff to it, and you're still running a safe, you know, you run a safe system basically, and you don't have to worry about messing it up. If you want to use exposed, if you want to do whatever. Just restore this back up to a slot and edit and 3D theme and hack away on it. And if it messes it up, no biggie, go back to a stock slot and, and you're good to go. Um, that's what I like to do if I don't have a ROM to install. That's the way I roll with this safe strap system. So right here it says reboot. I'm going to go back really quick. And really quick, just go ahead and talk just slightly about installing a ROM here. So if you do have a ROM to install, what you're going to do is you're going to go into boot options. You're going to hit this. You're going to create a ROM slot and you're going to activate it and once it's activated this will be white and one of the slots will be green. Then once you have that you'll also have green up here on the top where it says ROM slot stock. It'll say ROM slot 1 and you can go ahead and do your installs. One thing you may want to pay attention to is that in SafeStrap uh, thread from Hashcode there is some modules linked in there so I would make sure that you download the modules for your 
build number, so MK2R MJ7, whichever it is, and based on whatever the ROM is created on, you have to install those modules um, uh, after flashing a ROM. So that's pretty much all I'm going to go over right here. Once we get some major ROMs done and updated to MK2, I will doing some videos on ROM install on this device. So over here, I'm just going to reboot for right now, reboot system, and we will boot back up. So there you go, guys. That is installing SafeStrap, doing your first Android backup on SafeStrap on MK2. Huge shout out to Hashcode. Guy is amazing. Give him some donations, guys, something. He's done some major hard work on this, getting this to work, even with a C Linux enforced device. So huge props to him. Hope you guys like it. Safe strap on MK2 Verizon Galaxy S4. Root Junkie out.